So let's talk about the do nothing meditation and how powerful it can be, especially when you combine it with letting go and releasing. Now, before I do, I wanna invite you to like, subscribe and share and definitely comment if there's something in here that really inspires you. We definitely want to, I definitely personally wanna see those comments. I love reading the comments. Okay, what is the do nothing meditation and why does it on a personal growth level help to open your heart and change you so much? It literally does. It helps to get your heart blasted wide open. It helps to get you present. It helps to get you out of your head. It helps to calm you down. And it's about the easiest meditation on the planet. What it also does for letting go and releasing, especially my letting go course or the book letting go or stone, whatever you do, is it helps you to become amazing at understanding what it truly is to let something go. Okay, so let's dive right in. So the do nothing meditation is, I mean, it's out there, you can find it. If you can go do a search for it, you know, you'll see there's different people that talk about it in their own way. And I'm just gonna talk about it in the way I learned it. And I've seen it change so many clients' lives and I've seen it change in a lot of ways my life. And when I wanna just stop sometimes, my old teacher used to always say, just stop. Yeah, he'd look at me and just say, just stop. And I'm like, what does he mean by that? Because back then I just didn't get it. Well, this is basically what he meant, the do nothing meditation. He could have just said, hey, do nothing. I still would have said, <laughs> what does he mean by that? And I think having learned this process years ago, when he first told me to just stop, it would have been really helpful. So let's just dive right into it. Let's talk about it. Let's just do it. And then we can talk about it a little bit afterwards. Okay, so it's really simple. You get somewhere, you relax, you get comfortable. There's no special posture. There's no way I think you need to sit because you're really doing nothing. It's whatever. You want to lay on the couch for a bit. Just you probably don't want to lay in a way that you'll fall asleep. You want to sit outside in a chair. You want to relax at your desk and you can begin the process of doing nothing. You can do it with your eyes shut. You can do it with your eyes open. It doesn't really matter to me. Uh, the first time I did, I did it with my eyes open and it was amazing. I felt so good doing it. So how does this process work? It's really simple. We sit there. First off, you sit there and you do nothing. You just kind of sit here just like I'm doing now. Yeah. And you let go of all intentions in your mind and you just feel, you feel whatever comes up. But for me, what I do is I just feel everything. I expand my awareness, I expand my heart, and I just sit there and feel everything. I feel the walls, I feel the art, and I'm just letting go of all intention, all thought. I'm not focusing on anything, and I'm just being there. Now, the first thing that's gonna happen, and a lot of you are probably already experiencing this, already thinking this, as I say all this, is your mind is gonna wanna focus on something. It's going to create an intention. It's going to move towards something like maybe this little drink right here. And it'll start to say something like, oh, I need to take care of that. I need to throw that away. Um, I shouldn't have drank that, uh, that iced coffee. That was bad for me or whatever your story is. And the first thing you do, and you're going to feel your prefrontal cortex or your focus, your intention start to focus in. And the first thing you do is relax back open. And you do nothing. You just sit here again. Just being with everything. And then the next thing will happen is you'll be looking around or you'll have your eyes shut and something else will come up. Maybe you see your cell phone and you think about somebody you have to call and your mind will go again and your heart will go in and it'll want to do something. Next thing you do is you just relax battle back open again and just kind of sit there and you just let it go. And then you'll sit there again and maybe your eyes are shut. And while your eyes are shut, suddenly you think about the laundry or the dishes or the cleaning of the house. And then you just relax back open again. And every time I relax back open, it's like I'm relaxing my mind open and my heart open. So much so that I'm not really thinking, I'm just relaxing again. And then something else will come up and something else will come up. And as these things come up, I just relax back open and I sit there. I enjoy the moment and I let the moment flow through me. And all I'm doing is observing and being with this moment right here, right now, to the best of my ability. Now, inevitably in that process, you're going to see something that your mind won't let go of, right? Maybe I look at my cell phone and I can't stop thinking about somebody I should have called earlier. And my mind just keeps going in and it's grabbing on and I keep relaxing open, but it grabs back on or it won't open back up. What do you do with that? <laughs> well, it's really simple. You let your mind grab onto it. And you relax back open as much as you can 
but the greater awareness of yourself, the greater conscious of yourself. And you watch that part of your mind grabbing on and you just let it, you let it run in the background. For me, I might be taking in this beautiful view that I've got right in front of me. You can't see it. It's a very beautiful view. And just being with the here and the now and my mind might be grabbing over here at the same time and i'll just sit there and i let it do it i don't make it right i don't make it wrong i don't make it good i don't make it bad it just is and what i say to myself is my mind just isn't ready to let that go yet so i'm just gonna let it run I'm not gonna make it mean anything eventually it will let it go and then maybe your mind will grab something else later and it'll think oh i need to take care of that over there and then you can't let that go and you just kind of let it run. And maybe my eyes are shut and I just expand. Same thing with my eyes shut, I expand the awareness. I feel my mind relax. I feel my heart relax. I feel the ground beneath me and I just sit here. And I relax and let all this run through my awareness. So what am I really doing when I do this process? What I'm really doing and the reason it helps letting go so much and helps you train you to let go and release better is I'm releasing all the attachment and the aversion. Or I'm learning to be with the attachment and the aversion if I can't do it. But I'm doing it in the now, like as things rise and fall naturally. With releasing, I might actually look at something like my cell phone and say, I have an attachment to my cell phone. I'm going to look at it and then I'm going to look away and let go. And then I'm going to look at it, look away and let go. And what you're going to find is that with time, the attachment dies. It just starts to fade away. And as you get more ability in the now to just flow with the moment that's in front of you, as you walk around and maybe sit at the coffee shop and do the do nothing meditation, or maybe sit in your house and do the do nothing meditation, as things rise and fall and just learn to open back up, you're going to find that that is the same process that's used in letting go. Every time I tell this story, I'm reminded of a story that Lasher Levinson told. He said when he was first learning to let go, and I think this is part of why his letting go is so powerful, is that he started to feel better and better first off. He started to feel really good. And then he went for long walks around the city of New York. And in those walks, he would welcome anything that bothered him. Car honking, people arguing, didn't matter what it was. And I'm sure there was plenty in New York. And he would sit there and let go until he was at total love and peace for whatever was happening until he was free. Is that not the do nothing meditation? He's walking around just with his heart open, loving the moment. Then somebody starts yelling over there, maybe they're arguing and his mind wants to pull right into it, right? And then he opens back up and he just lets go until he's free again. And then he moves on to the next thing. And he was just letting things naturally come up in the moment that would pull on him and then release them until he could pretty much flow through the city of New York with no attachments and no aversions and with an open heart, just being present. He was basically doing the do nothing meditation. In the talk I saw, he called that tendencies, just letting go of tendencies, the little things that come up throughout the day as he moved through the day. And I think that's powerful when you think about it, because if we start with the big things, we start with letting go of bringing up the memory of when mom abandoned me when I was 10 years old and forgot about me and left me at the mall or whatever it is. <laughs> and it's a big trauma for us. And we, or our parents divorce or something like that, that can be rough. But if you get all the little tendencies, you know, all the little things that are going on around you, the noises, the, the things that pull on you, the things that annoy you, then what happens? Well, then you begin to really understand what releasing is and you build this nice foundation of just being able to flow in the ordinary now in this moment right here right now and just be with it and not make it good or bad right or wrong then when you go to deal with those big things when you go to release on the stuff that was that really pulls on you then you'll have true power you'll understand what you're doing you'll have a really good foundation and have a really good base from which to clean that place up in life. So I wanna welcome you into this idea of the do nothing meditation. I'd love to see you guys practice it. And I'd love to hear more about what your experience is. You know, definitely put comments in the comment section. Let me know what it is. Let me know how it works for you. Matter of fact, I would really appreciate it if you came back after doing it for a few days and put another comment in an update and let us all learn from you. You know, your comments are important to me. It's important to the group. We can all learn together. So. Let's start a conversation. 
Now, with that said, if you want to learn more about revealing process and letting go, uh, I have a course. I'll definitely link it in here. Definitely check that out. I think that's it. Remember, only the confident really live. I'll see you in the next video.